All right, I am here um, uh, with another Steam Next Fest Top Demos of 2024 June Edition. Um, I'm playing all the, the top 50 demos from Steam Next Fest. Um, and the thing is, um, a lot of people ask me, how do I make my demo? How do I make a good demo that doesn't give away too much? Still exciting. How much do I tutorialize? How much do I share? How much do I lock down? I don't know. I have no idea. So I'm playing demos to find out. That's the best thing. Just play games. Just play games, folks. So I am uh, working on a loft. This is one of the big ones. So this is open world survival craft, one of the hottest genres on Steam. Everybody loves open world survival craft. It's Steam's favorite genre right now. Now, one of the things that's weird about open world survival craft is it's open world. So how do you lock it down, keep it tight so that people still enjoy the game? but not enjoy the demo so much that they feel like they've gotten their fill and they don't need to buy the main game. I'm here to find out, so I'm going to play this. All right, let's start it. So, start game, create a new map. Done. I just created it. I probably should have named it or something. I just I just created it. We'll see what happens here. So, this is the demo. It's alpha demo. You're watching a loading screen. You know, it might be say, fun to say, like, hey, don't forget to wish list. But you also want to kind of... Establish the Astrolabe interactive brand. Here we are. So let's look down. There's my feet. It's first person open world survival craft. And like all open world survival crafts, you start in a cave. Um, and the first step is to collect wood. It's the same thing, guys, gals. There's nothing different. You always got to collect wood in the beginning. There's nothing new under the sun. So the way open world survival crafts always start out is in these caves where it's very locked down, just kind of get you, notice how it's kind of winding around here. It's kind of teaching you the controls. So you kind of learn the controls. Uh, it's not just a straight path. You got to learn how to walk. Now the tutorial up there in the top right, pretty subtle, nothing too much. So find and gather wood. Um, I see the sparkles. I'm going to gather it. X gather. Let's do it. That just pulled that tree straight down. It says interact with your first knowledge stone is the next step. Um, I don't quite know what a knowledge stone looks like. If I were to guess, it'd be this giant uh, hourglass looking rocks. This looks like this is going to cost you a lot from a gardener standpoint to really clear out these roots and get this rock out. But it's I'm not getting the X gather or X learn button, so I guess that's not a knowledge stone. So I'm just going to keep going. I mean, the secret to all these open world survival crafts, if you're lost, is just head towards the most beautiful thing. Um, I'm guessing it's going to be this giant kind of Ouroboros style penumbra, this giant thing. If there's going to be a knowledge stone, it's in here because this is the biggest, most obvious thing. Interact with your first knowledge stone. Maybe it's this thing up here. We will see. Yeah, I can't reach it. I'm feeling maybe I'm heading the wrong direction. But so here is uh, one thing about the open world survival craft. There is a lot of open world. I'm now in this open meadow. There's tons of stuff to do here. So I can just kind of look at it um, and kind of look at my own pace. Now, beautiful stonework. One thing I love about open world survival craft is it's so much prettier than real life. There's no stone that's ever that interesting. It's always uh, just, just a rock there. Looks like a rose made out of rocks. We got floating trees. Beautiful. That's it. Knowledge stone. Look at that thing with the banner. I bet that's a knowledge stone up there. Anytime there's a rock with something attached to it, probably a knowledge stone. So let's head on up. It's very windy today. Oh, got to jump. This is, this is definitely a knowledge stone if I have to jump to get to it. All right, knowledge stone X to learn. Our most valuable resource, creativity, was truly limitless. Uh, it sounds like Hallmark card or something. All right, workbench. That's the uh, gnarliest looking workbench I've ever seen. All right, build a workbench using the build menu. All right, so I see a little flasher on the Y. Let's build this uh, workbench. I'm going to get across the island first because I don't want to build on an island because then I'd have to jump to it every time I want to build something. So let me go to an open clearing here, right on the path, easy to miss, uh, not easy to miss. Looks like I got two wood, I need five to build this. Let me go see if I can just rip down more trees here. Classic open world survival craft. 
got to gather the wood plus two. I think I need to get, grab one more of these little saplings, these poor saplings that I need to, to grab. Here's a little sapling to grab. Very gusty, very windy place, I got to say. All right, so let's place this thing automatically magnet manual. Place is right trigger. All right, we got this crafting table. Put some rocks on there. All right, mix yellow dotted ingredients. Notice how the tutorial is very good. It's um, it's just kind of just tells you. It doesn't lock you in. It just kind of tells you as necessary. So if I know anything about crafting, you just keep adding stuff. New recipe, learn this recipe. Learn it, leaf cloth. All right, craft and some, let's craft some leaf, cro leaf cloth. Whoa, 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 just, uh, just accidentally crafted a whole bunch, so. All right, so let's see. I think I need some wood. It looks like I needed wood to really craft something. It says find and pick up small stones. All right, small stones. Let me see. Here's some big stones. Is that a small stone? No. It's so windy. I just feel the pollen in my eyes here on this uh, wonderful day. What was that? Interact with something. Chop it down. Gather. What am I gathering? Uh, I just ripped a branch that is not a small stone. Somebody just left their boat here. Okay, let's see. Small stones. Small stones. Beautiful. Ooh, look at this. Nice. Oh, right there. Small stones. Look at those little small stones. Okay, how many is that? Three stones. If I know anything about crafting games, is three stones is not going to be enough. I really need to collect more. We got more boats left. Let's see here. Let's find some more small stones. I think I saw something down in here. Hmm. Small stones. Small stones. How about up here? If there's a bridge anywhere, definitely climb it. Lay down. You can just lay. That's good. Good. Sometimes you just need to chill out. It's great that they just build in your own uh, self self-preservation there just lay down if you need to very important skill to have all right let's see here some baskets baskets seaweed basket hey, hey look at that look at the little cutie what is that little guy what are you little guy that is adorable i don't want to get you over here face sculpture and some little stones okay let me see this basket here Okay, transfer with L3. Transfer, transfer, transfer. All right. All right, I think this is the last stones. Gather these stones. Okay, I'm going to go after this. Let's go back to my crafting table. Let's go explore this airship area. Okay, I don't see anything. So I'm going to I'm going to head over back to my crafting table, climb this scenic floating island here. So far, the uh, crafting seems pretty one directional. You know, it's not like there's a whole bunch I can craft. Um, again, that's always a good thing to understand about where it is and what you're crafting. I've seen some, I've played some demos where the crafting is just very laborious and every step is uh, locked down. So far, it seems pretty, pretty smooth path to crafting. Let's see. So I'm going to use the yellow dots. Let's learn. Press X to learn. Stone hammer, stone hammer. Okay, let's craft that. I learned about it, but I need to build it. Let's see, we just got unlocked a whole bunch of recipes. Let me look what we got. Tables, round, just, I could just build, build a deck. I can't do much else, but I can build a nice deck for barbecue season. Let's see, what's this day? I don't know what this is. Oh, I can craft some grass. Beautiful, okay. Let's see, it says create a sharp stone on the workbench, okay sharp stone all right a couple stones sharp stone craft it all right let's see what it says now um sharp stone create a pickaxe using the workbench i bet i have to do this stone axe stone axe craft it all right is that what i had to craft pickaxe Pickaxe. All right, um, let's let's build it. Let's see here. Sharp stone. Oh, let me craft some more sharp stone. Okay, and let me do this. Plus sharp stone. 
That's a stone axe. My bet, I need more stone. I bet a pickaxe needs like two stones because it's like twice as big as it's the thing. So let me see if I can find some more stones here. Oh, look at that. Little, little stones. Let me go down. Oh, look at this. So cute. Look at this cute little thing. What? I just crafted it and here's a, here's a stone axe. I didn't even need to craft that. I just had it right here. A little picnic table. Uh, a little staircase down there. A little sit. This game just enables some good lounging. I've never seen such good lounging in a game. You got sitting and laying down. That's a little horrifying right there. Just to see my own interior. Okay, abandoned chest. Ah, uh, look at that. Okay, and this. And what is this little thing? What is this? I don't know what that is. Okay. Um, could just chop some furniture. Very good. No wonder this broke down. Look at look at how windy it is here. Who who decided to live here? This house is going to get blown to pieces. My goodness. Look at this big... Deku tree or something. Um, sorry, I'm exploring this open world. Again, notice it doesn't lock me in. It just kind of says, hey, you can go anywhere in here. Kind of stuck on this island. Another seaweed basket. I don't see any sea, but okay, get some more of that. I don't see the ocean anywhere, so I, I don't know where the seaweed's coming from. Up to the top of the hill. Probably don't want to go any further. Okay. Let's head back. Let me go back to crafting my pickaxe. I mean, one thing, the tutorial is good in that it teaches it, but it kind of keeps you from learning. I mean, it, like, I don't know. There's just something about, I mean, I, some voice is telling me create a pickaxe, I guess. I just by, by my own human instinct know I need to make a pickaxe. I don't know why yet. It's just kind of leading me that way. So I guess it's kind of a tutorial led that way. But so far, you know, pretty, pretty straightforward step by step. Okay. I think I need to use this and this stone axe. New recipe. I figured I've played these. I've, I've played my way through some open world survival crafts. So let me see if I got any of my inventory. Oh, look at that. Follow the path up the mountain to under uncover its secret. Who, who said there was even a secret? Like, uh, who is this voice telling me this stuff? Like, how would I know there's a secret? All right. What's this guy? Face sculpture. A crude and strange face carved in stone. It's kind of a little judgy about this uh, sculpture. Crude and strange? Come on. Let's be nice about it. All right. Let's see here. Um, a bit judgy. Let me see if I can equip this. I mean, this guy right here. Stone pickaxe. Put it in my inventory. How do I get this thing in my inventory? What? Okay. Equip. X. E. Equip. Good. All right. Good gnarly pickaxe. I guess those are two sharp stones. One on the back side, one on the front side. All right. Head here. All right, nice and dark. Um, seems like I hope I don't have to battle some zombies or something that comes out of the rocks. It's just the worst. So I'm just going to keep going up this nice path. <clears throat> uh, I bet that's why I need the pickaxe. Right, right there. Okay. All right, follow the path up. I'm just hitting it when it goes into yellow. I think that's correct. I think it's correct. Oh, there's a little, look at that stone face. Pick up. I'm going to pick you up, little strange head. Another strange head. Let's see Let's see if they're judgy about these two. How judgy are you about these little guys? Let's see what they say. Oh, that, it just counts as that one. See, that one's not strange. She's just happy. I don't know why they're so judgy. Okay, let's go through here. Collect some water. Yeah, as long as you got it, just grab it with your hands. Grab that water with your hands. All right. Hey, 
Old knowledge stone. Look at you down there. Keep it up, knowledge stone. What's this? Oh, little circle stones. Look like little Legos or something. Kids leaving their Legos all over the place. All right, let's keep going up. Let's look at my knowledge stone again. Hey, knowledge. All right, let's keep hiking up this uh, path of the mountain to uncover the secret. Oh, fireflies. Ah, I love it when video games add fireflies. That is so cute. A good way to a good demo, create fireflies at nighttime. All right. Um, all right, look at these floating stones. Who needs magic when you got floating stones? Who needs to craft anything? Just pick up these stones and just, just live your life with these floating stones. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Can you lay down on floating stones? Just, just going to chill. I know I'm supposed to look at that thing. I know I'm supposed to uncover some secrets over here, but who needs who needs all that time? All right. We've got this. That X to learn. X to learn. All right. Just looking at this. Very well preserved. Very good. I mean, even graffiti that I've seen along the street isn't it? this clearly put together. Okay. Looks like three people saying, yay, welcome. And then... Um, Big old triangle man. Just if there's anything that I've learned, it is not good to fly towards the sun. Uh, glider stand. Hey, hey, look at that! A glider stand. Craft your first glider on the glider stand. Yep, definitely. Um, definitely wouldn't trust this story. No, it doesn't. I kn I've I know my history. You should not be doing this not be going straight to the sun in some wings that you've made i've been here before i've done this before i know i've read my histories but uh the tutorial tells me so despite my better judgment i am going to do it all right so what's this thing what's this thing do let's do some learning here hey food for grazing friends never graze your friends all right, let's see what I can do. Um, let me look at this menu here. Recipe, recipe resources, conditions you have. Currently have no conditions. Dreams and progressions. See, this is interesting because I'm trying to figure out how much is implemented and stuff like that, how much is put into the demo. And um, this tab is not yet implemented. They're straight up. Um, this tab is not yet implemented. Here's what I would say. I wouldn't have quite said it this way. I would have said not available in the demo. This makes it sound like you're just lazy or, you know, like, oh, I didn't get my homework done. Uh, not that you're lazy. Devs, devs are never lazy. They're very hardworking. But what this says to me um, is we could phrase this so it doesn't look like you, you didn't get your homework or your reading assignment done. Um, okay. Uh, encyclopedia. Look at all this. Um, you do not own an island yet. I love this message just because of the optimism. Like, you don't own an island yet. That's how I feel in my own life. Like, yeah, I don't own an island yet. That, that's, I, I like that ambition, kid. I like it. We should all own islands. It's not that I don't own an island. It's that I don't own an island yet. All right, take that, Richard Branson. All right, no conditions. All right, good. Um, what's this thing? Dirty water. Clean it before you drink it. All right. Also, the tab's not implemented. I would just say not for the demo. Not available on the demo. And then it leaves a little bit of mystery. So, yeah, I would totally fix that. Okay. Uh, craft your first glider on the glider stand. Okay, let's see if I can... How do I build a glider stand? Okay, we got... Leaf cloth stockle. There it is. Glider stand. Seven out of five. Got enough wood. Always carry enough wood. If you're playing a crafting game, okay, let's rotate it. I'm going to put it right here, nice next to, whoop. Hey, look at that. Okay. Craft your first glider on the glider stand. Let's use it. Create it. Look at that. Just first time using it right off the bat. Didn't even, didn't even need practice. Can just build wings right after it. That's how good the stand is. Really, the stand just kind of looks like one of those um, fitness bands. So if you ever needed to craft a glider, just go to the gym. You got it right there. So let's craft this leaf glider. Artificial wings to fly from island to island must first be 
equipped than deployed while in the air. So let's equip it. Did I equip it? Oh, I see a little yellow greenish triangle there. That must mean equipped. Um, can I see my wings? I can see my pants. I've equipped pants, but there's no way to tell if I have equipped wings. Like, if I'm going to enter the rest of the floating islands to f explore the rest of the islands to find a way out of the archipelago. All right. I see more islands. Um, if I'm going to jump this, I better see that I have wings attached. Um, let's see. How can I tell if I have equipped wings? I see that. Um, okay. X, X. Okay. I sure hope I've got wings attached. Let's look at my equipment. Tab not yet implemented. Okay. Here we go. Leap of faith, leap of faith, leap of faith, leap of faith. Okay, 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 okay. Let's do this. I'm just going to assume that I'm equipped. There was a yellow triangle back there. I have wings. I have wings. They were equipped. Real leap of faith there. Real leap of faith. Very good tutorial, except for the aspect where I do not know where I am. So that's the home island. It just tells me explore some islands. So sure hope I can get up this archipelago. Very, uh, very cool. Um, very never ending story vibes here. Whoa, whoa. All, all right. Good landing. Sweet landing. All right. Island. Explore the archipelago. It's a beautiful island here within a little, little lake, a little river. Collect some water. Probably dirty. Don't see anything else. Okay, let's keep exploring here. Oh, rocks. Those things are not fun to find, so let me just gather. Okay, let's go. Oh, look at that. That's cool. Waterfall going to nowhere. Just wasting water. Let's find it. Let's see. Let me just see if there's anything interesting on here. Just a waterfall to nowhere. Okay, nothing, nothing. Oh, a little cute little camp down there. Let's go check that out. All right. Ooh. Ooh. Glowing stone. Pick up. Piece of paper. Let's see. Do not own an island yet. Keep reminding me, but keep on that mission. You don't own that island yet. All right. Ooh, look at this little egg. Cooking ingredient. All right. Do, do. We got all these. Yep, yep, yep. What's this? Paper. Piece of paper. Blank piece of paper. It could prove useful in sketching out building ideas. Okay, let's look. Mm. Oh, look at this. Look at this. What is that? Torch, probably. Or just a giant Q-tip. I can't tell. It doesn't describe it. There's. No, I don't know. Can I equip the toothpick? Or the Q-tip? Okay. Q-tip equipped. Just hanging out my ear. Okay, let's... Let's collect that. Let's collect this. Okay. Let's see if I can get off this archipelago. And another, these, they just leave their axes lying out in wood stockpile. Okay. Let's see. And it's just a nice camp. I wonder what it was. What's this thing? I don't know. It's like a little, little mortar and pestle. Um, doesn't, doesn't know. Don't know. All right. What a beautiful arbor. That's so beautiful. I love this little, good, Good choice on this island here. This is a good island. Okay, what do we got? There's trees here. Oh, a little sleep sacks. Look at that. Look at this environmental storytelling. You go to the campfire. They do a little sleeping over there. All right. I'm trying to get off this archipelago. And just explore the islands. Now, this is where I'm like, okay, how much is open? When is it going to block me? You know, am I just exploring? Is there any end state? What am I trying to do? Do I just keep exploring? I don't see anything here. Let's see. Nothing. I was hoping for a little story element. When I saw that little notebook, I thought it was going to say something like, "Oh, the, uh, I'm I'm looking for my adventure. i will just be over at the islands over here." And then I have to follow where the islands go. What flying floating stones? Okay, explore the rest of the thing. All right, let's see what we got here. Learn. We were brought into this world to tame it, and tame it we did. Never heard a, a Hallmark card quite like that one. Let's see. A rudder. That's good. That's good. 
Good choice. Still rudder. Stuff in the basket. Just some portobello mushrooms. Okay. Tame it, we did. And then, ironically, they crashed. All right. Joke's on them. All right, let's look at this thing here. Another crafting table. Oop, more. I want a journal that tells people. No, it's just, just a story. I want a journal that tells me something about them and what to do, how to get off this. Okay. And some, just, just some meatloaf, it looks like. Let's see. I don't see a hunger meter, so, or maybe it is. Maybe they red or the white. One of those is a hunger meter, probably. No one open world survival craft. I mean, this is cool. Kind of cool. Looking like some petunias or something. I don't know. Looking through this canyon. Explore the rest of the flo floating isles. I'm just trying to see if I'm, I'm like supposed to do something. And this is where I don't know. Maybe this is why the medium playtime is so high because people are looking for something. It seems like I've stopped the crafting part and now I'm in the open world exploration part. Ah, look at this. Another... Is that a knowledge stone or a circle stone? What is this thing? Let's learn. Look at that airship. An airship X to learn. All right. Yeah. Montage of a look of learning. Okay. We got just a bunch of people just hitting stuff. This is like the story of hitting stuff. You hit that, we hit the ground. Remember that time we hit that ground? Both of us hitting that ground. Uh, more Icarus flying way too close to the sun. Just keep going. And she's a lady with pippy long stocking saying, hey, listen to me. I got the biggest hat. And um, a mushroom house with a rudder. Looks pretty cool. Kind of looks like an upside down atom bomb, but a helm. We learned the helm. So it looks like we're, we're getting ready to craft some airship stuff. I wonder if that's the highlight of the thing. I don't have any more tutorialization. Um, I wonder if that's it like i've learned how to do it let's keep going i got a rudder and a helm i don't know all my ship parts do i need to do the poop deck i don't know let's see i'm just gonna keep climbing up here i see some glowing things i just want to double check it doesn't tell me i need to explore anymore notice how it, it removed that tutorial thing again my need to uh accomplish this is uh making me a little bit can i just rename this abandoned chest hey i can let's see can't okay i think i could oh yeah one two three z z z okay let's just name this thing don't open me i don't know why i need to name this chest that i've just found on, along the thing but Hey, why not? I can do it. It's an open world survival. I'm surviving this open world. Okay, so was that it? That was the top. We got a big knowledge stone getting rained on. Okay. Let's go deep into this cave that's not foreboding at all. Foreboding at all. Oh, it just got dark. It was like really light. I was like, oh, it looks like a nice cave. Now it's dark. Oh, wait, where were one of those heads? We got a head. I love those little heads at the thing. That looks like it's on the cover of a uh, little princess or a, uh, looks like it's the cover of the little mermaid or something. That one too. Glowing, is that, you have all those little heads on the top? Glowing, collect water, dirty water, dirty water. You would think it'd be nice and clean being out here on the top of a floating rock. Whoa, all right, on the other side here. Beautiful. I think open world survival craft lives or dies based on how beautiful the world is. So this, is, this one's going to live. This one's beautiful. Let's see. More floating things. We sailed the winds, thanked the storm, and mourned the sea. All right, leaf floater sail. Way to go, learning that. Learning, learning, learning. Ooh, I don't have a sickle. All right. Definitely looks like they mourn the sea with that one. Look at this boat. Not correct way to do the boat. 
All right, I think I'm at the end here. I'm gonna keep learning. I'm gonna keep flying. Let's see if I can just fly. Ooh, 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 looks good. Right there, learning section, learning station, right over here. Learn, the great wind was our vessel and through its rage, we reached serenity. Was our vessel, through the rage, we reached serenity. This kind of seems like uh, a very poetic way of uh, describing passing gas. Hey, leaf gaff sail, leaf gaff sail. All right, it's like a big anchor, floating stones, all right. Reaching serenity. All right, let's take this. Blueberries, look at those beautiful blueberries. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I wanna hear a story here. Let's see, I hope this is a story element. Okay, what happens if I use it? It says used. You unlock the recipe for meal gnocchi. It's gnocchi. That's very specific, just gnocchi. All right, more of this. The thing about open world survival craft, you gotta collect every single thing. You're just basically a vacuum. Uh, I don't wanna open all that stuff. I hope this is interesting. I really hope this is interesting. This just seems like it's not interesting. Here I am. Oh, I see a boat. Uh, uh, is this the poop deck? I think I'm on the poop deck. Can I collect this? No, it looks busted. Just lay down. Can I lay down on the top of a poop deck? Let's see. I saw the lay down. I'm already kind of laying. Like, this dude is lounging, laying down. All right, we went up there, didn't we? I, I'm lost. I don't have any more uh, tutorial to tell me what to do anymore. So I'm just going to keep looking for those um, floating stones that tell me some poetic wisdom. It sounds kind of like a Hallmark card, but let's see here. There's home. All right. Hey, let me tell you, I love that home icon because Minecraft, you lose home and you got a crying kid on your hand who can't find his home again. That, that right there is worth it. That's a major innovation. Just put the home icon there. Oh. That's one thing about Minecraft. You can always lose your home and then you have no, have no idea where you are. Let's see. I'm just trying to look around to see if there's more. I'm going to drop. Do I have fall damage here? All right. Good. I'm just looking to see if there's any more of those stones. Oh, there's the, uh, the water pouring on the knowledge stone. Lay down. I'm not going to lay down today. Look at that. Okay. Looks like we're kind of cleared them all out. I'm just looking for some of those things. Looks like I'm collecting stuff for a big boat. But I expect the tutorial to say, hey, maybe that's how I escape the archipelago. I can't escape until I build the boat. But who knows what parts you need for a boat. Oh, it's raining. Look at that. Okay, let's, let's go for a little fly. I'm just trying to cruise around this island, see if there's anything else that I'm missing. Ooh, that looks kind of good. That looks promising. That looks promising. Looks promising. Landed. All right. Ooh, I don't think I've learned this one yet. Let's see. Did I? I guess I did. I think this is where I first landed. Yes, this is where I first landed. Yes. Yes, I remember this. Okay. Let's move on. I did that one. There's home. Let's let's float over to this island. Unless there's another big island. That's the big island that I just learned a lot of stuff. Let's see, anything here? Let's come in, come in, man. Anything, anything, or just passive scenery, passive scenery. Some rocks, maybe. Passive scenery. Yeah, I don't see anything worth stopping for. Maybe this thing. I thought I saw something that was like one of those knowledge stones. Let's do this. Just, I love it when there's no fall damage. It's just, it just frees the world up. Okay, let's see here. I think I saw something over here. Oh yeah, okay, okay. Headstone, no, no. 
Okay, that was beautiful, but not helpful in escaping the archipelago. All right, all right. I think that's the big island where I learned everything was home. There's home. That's the big island where I learned everything. I see another big island here. This is looking good. This is looking like some sort of big story moment here. Look at this. Look at this. I see a glowing thing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. I was afraid I had fall damage. No fall damage here. Just a bird skull. A more diverse flora would provide enough food for critters to thrive. It's kind of judgy on this flora. Well, who knows? Maybe it's just it's a natural habitat. Leaf stockpile. Okay. Wood stockpile. A lot more exploring and not enough crafting if I were to put this on the on the spectrum. Ooh, look at this. Some do some gift wrapping. All right, look look at me. Look at me. Just do a little tailoring here. Cloth. Cloth. Can I just take this? I like this ribbon thing. I like your nice clothes. Look at this. Some tomatoes. Ooh, what did I learn? What did I learn? Let's let's learn it. Use. You've unlocked the recipe for meal pumpkin loaf. Mm. Those axes, they're everywhere. Okay, more paper that doesn't have anything. Another wing. So just a little fashion studio out here. Let's see if there's anything else. Cleanse the island. Okay, corruption island. Okay, we're gonna we are gonna we are gonna destroy you. Again, I'm just kind of without much. Just because it's a fungus doesn't mean it's corruption. I mean, it's an important thing for breaking down wood. Fungus is very important. Is this corruption? Let's see. So I don't know. I don't know if I'm at the end of this game. I, I feel like I am. I just kind of feel lost. Like I was following the tutorial was so good, and then it just all of a sudden just dropped out on me. Is this a node? I feel like the node was that big globular thing. I don't know. Is this interesting? I don't know. I'm just going to play for a little bit longer, but um, what is that? Some sort of spectral effect is happening here. I don't know what I'm supposed to be destroying. Oh, maybe these? Ugh! Okay. I assume that was a corruption node. I see some sort of spectral effect happening here. Oh, if I run by these, they just kind of start going off. Okay, how's my health? I'm still at full health. I don't fully understand what's going on here. Okay, I feel like that's a corruption node. Oh, look at these butters. Yeah, get you out of here. I honestly don't know what a corruption node is. This kind of looks like a corruption node, but... So, I mean, as far as how much is given, it's, it seems like a lot. It seems a little bit linear. Like, yeah, I open up and I do these worlds, but I'm not entirely sure where I'm going. Ooh, look at these little secret chests. Okay. Um, yeah, I collect them. He gave them to me. Somebody just put some wood in a chest. They're like, this is my special wood. Okay, what is this? Transfer. Ooh, another recipe. Let's learn this one. You unlock the recipe for meal stew. That's a little bit redundant, meal stew. All right, as opposed to like um, just play stew or um, party stew. Oh yeah, these these are the hard ones to find. This is definitely a corrupted island. Get that thing. Get you out of here. So I don't know. I'm all of a sudden hitting mushrooms. I I kind of feel like I lost the story here. Um, it looked like I was building towards a boat, and now I'm just locked in this whoa you don't look nice i don't know what you are i think you are what i need to destroy what is this Ooh, that that looks like a doctor should see that one what is going on here am i under attack is this a boss fight oh let me get this thing here got it oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah I am definitely going to pop this. I am definitely going to lance this boil. Oh, boy. I think that one really hurt. Oh, what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bad guys. Bad guys. 
Bad guys. Bad guys. This guy looks like a troll doll. What? What? Now I am hurt. Now I am hurt. Now I am hurt. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right. Let's see if I can eat something. Just eat some mushrooms right in front of them. Okay, let's see if I can. Let's see if there's something in here that I'll eat. Um, yes, I'm just going to eat some gnocchi. Just one giant gnocchi. Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah. That's what gnocchi does to me. Uh, same way, buddy. Same way. Okay, let's, let's pop these corruptions. Where's that? Where's that big beast? There you are. Let me hit this thing. Hit your gland. What? Hit this gland some more. Leap unlocked. Encyclopedia, learn about leap. I think I killed it. Yes, I decorrupted this island. Whoa, I think I just leaped it. I didn't even need the encyclopedia to learn that one. All right, so my better is the island better now. I'm just I'm just like stuck in a shader now. All right, let's take a look. Let's just let me let me just fly up, get the thirty thousand foot view of this place here. Let me get out of the shader so I can see what's going on. Oh, we got another one of those big things. Okay, once I've emerged from that shader, I can see that there's another one up here and another learning environment. Oh yeah, look at you. Come on. This is gonna hurt, but it's good in the long run. Okay, let's go around. Okay, get out of the shader so I can actually see what's going on here. Oh, we got we opened up the egg. Let's open it up. Let's come on in here. Look at you, little buggers. Okay, let's fly around, get out of the shader, see what's going on, come back. Oh, look at you up there. What are you doing up there? What are you doing up there? Come on down here. There's probably a little buddy around here. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, there you are, there you, there you are. Oh boy, I am low on health. I need gnocchi big time. Can you eat and fly at the same time? Where are you? I should go back home. Just a quote. All right. Um, I think I'm dead. I think I just died. All right. I'm going to take... Do I have to get all this stuff back? Or is it... What's what's my status? Hey, I'm going to eat some blueberries. You are full. Okay. Well, let's see. Do I have all my equipment? Yes. That's great. Q-tip. Oh, it's, it's torch. <laughs> it's just like... Okay. Um... Thankfully, like Minecraft, this is a lot easier than Minecraft, I'll tell you how much. Like, uh, don't lose all my gear. I'm going to fly back to Fungus Island, finish off that uh, that giant growth, and uh, do it. see if that leads to anything. If I do that, I'm trying to figure out what I'm supposed to be doing now. I know it says Explorer, and it's an open world Explorer, survival craft. So I at least want to give the game a shot. Try and figure out where to go now. I mean, have I gotten off the archipelago? The end screen. What do I need to do? Okay, while I'm flying back to the island, um, if you're still watching, I do these, but usually much shorter, because usually the demos are much shorter than this. Um, what I do is I take this and I take these kind of live plays and what I do is I compile them in my game marketing ideas. This is just a sample because I'm trying to promote for the big sale. I've got a big summer sale going on right now and because of the sale, um, I am here 
um, promoting it and doing all kinds of cool stuff. So you should check that out. Um, I've got it on a deep discount. I think it's like 30 bucks right now and you get secret lectures that I've done. You get to see more demo teardowns like I've done this here. Is this Fungus Island? There is that the fungus? Um, I think it's another island. Um, where is it? Did I do this one? Um, I think I have, but let me check it anyway. Um, no, I haven't learned this one. Only by knowing where we've been, we'll know where to go. That is such a fortune cookie. <laughs> All right, table map. All right, let's go. Uh, but anyway, I keep doing these. I do these regularly, and I see more glowing stuff. Always... If I've learned anything from video games, it's go towards the glowing stuff. Oh, I just checked my inventory of mid-fall. Um, and so that's what I do. I uh, look at demos, and this is just a taste. This is just a free sample. It's a demo of a demo. So if you want to see the full demo, um, check out Game Marketing Ideas, which I've linked below. All right, let's see if I can just get this. I don't want to spend too much time here. I'm just trying to get... I was going in the opposite direction of home, so that's home. So I'm going over this way. It's heading towards this giant hurricane. All right, I'm trying to find this fungus island where I had to battle that giant fungus and then I get punched in the head. And then I said I should go home. So what, what about this one? Did I look at this island? Yeah. Let's slow down. Let's slow down. Did I look at this island? This island looks kind of dead and corrupted, but I don't think it's the corrupted island that I saw. Okay, I don't think it is. But I'm in the complete opposite direction of the home island, so I think it's this way. I don't see anything interesting on there. I'm going too far. Uh, okay. Here's the open world part. Let me try and go over this way. Let me, I'm looking for Fungus Island. All right. Oh, is this Fungus Island? Let's see. Or maybe that is. Let's take a look. Come on, Fungus Island. Oh, I think I do. I think I see it. I think I see that giant pulsating fungus. There you are. There you are. I'm coming to get you. Oh, yeah. Let's get you. Mm. Where are those little dudes? Where are you little dudes? Lay it down. Get out of the way. Wait for this thing. Okay. Nope. You're still dancing. Nope. This is a four hit five hit i'm gonna fly around because he's probably gonna drop his egg right here there it is whoa let's go up and hit this thing what is going on here can i get through this okay Okay, fly around, make sure, watch it do its thing. See those little guys? Fly out of the zone of the shader so you can actually see what's going on here. Maybe those guys will just go away. Oh, did they, did they just dissolve? I think they just dissolved. No, they're still there. They just occluded. Okay. All right, we're coming in. Coming in hot. I'm going to go up here. It's going to come through this way. Let's hit them again. It's a little maze here. Hey, there they are. There they are. Hey. All 
Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, I shouldn't go back home. Who says that? Who says that? Okay, last time. Now I know where to go. Now I know everything that's here. Okay, the last time I'm gonna try this and then I'm gonna save and quit. I'm gonna see if I can go through this hole. Can I do it? Okay, now can I go through this hole? Oh, <laughs> I'm just gonna check my inventory. <laughs> All right, Fungus Island, here we come. Again, I'm kind of lost with that tutorial. I'm like, am I still going the right way? Is this what I should be doing? Did these islands change? There's Fungus Island, right? That's Fungus Island. That's a different Fungus Island. This is a different one. What? What? This is a different Fungus Island. Okay, I'm still going to knock you out. Do one lap out of the shader. Let him flail around for a little bit. Come in. Hit his other little uh, sack here. Whoa. Hit those mushroom or little guys. Let's see. Oh, wait. Got to hit the egg sack. There we go. The little yolk. Let's do it. I think I'm supposed to be timing it to hit something, but it just doesn't seem to be working, and this is doing just fine. Up out of the shader, get a good bird's eye view. There they are, dissolving little, little gnomes, mushroom gnomes. This is a different mushroom island, but still all the same. Just give me tutorial tips. What? Look at all those, four of them. See if I can just nail this. Oh, you. You little fungus gnome. Yep. Got you in the hair. All right. What's going on now? What's going on now? I'm just going to blow this up while I'm here. Okay. those little buggers up slash nice okay look at how clean and beautiful now now we don't have a shader anymore they just removed the shader look at it fixed it cleaned it you know those are uh, those uh, fungus are just a fruiting body the whole fungus is really the mycenium underneath the surface in the soil so really I just killed the floating island uh, the, the fruiting body so I don't think I really did anything, but it makes me feel better. Let's see what's this. Ecosystem to gather these. Okay. Well, I feel like it did. Oh, knowledge stone. Knowledge stone. Under the stars, our fate was safe at last. Yeah. Okay. Leaf bed. See, you get it. The stars. Leaf bed. Okay. Let's see what else we got. I did it. Clean this island. Pretty good. Maybe I just have to let it kind of regenerate a little bit. Okay, so I think you get it. This is it. I think I just have to do that a bunch of times. So these um, demos always have um, long median play time. Some of the games like Idler Games, Open World Survival Craft. I feel like this, this demo is pretty long. I would have cut it after I finished that. Maybe this? Maybe this is what I was leading to? But this is a pretty long demo. Um, there's Home. I feel like I feel like they, this is a lot. Um, 
I feel like I'm kind of done with this game. <laughs> um, I mean, I could build my house, that sort of thing. I kind of lost the direction. Like, where am I going? What am I trying to do? I, I kind of accidentally discovered these funguses, fungi that I have to kill. They didn't say anything about that. They said escape the archipelago, and all of a sudden now I find myself fighting mushrooms. I don't know what I'm doing. I kind of lost the plot. Let's see, is there anything here? I thought I was learning about boats and how to build a boat. Little did I know I'd be fighting fungus. Um, did I get this one here? Yes, I think I did get that one. That's the one. Yep, yep, I got that one. One more. Let's find this island over here. So <clears throat> I think this is why one of the it was a top play demos because it's very long. There's a lot of content here. And so when a lot of people are playing this demo, because it looks beautiful, it's a beautiful looking game. It's pretty fun. Um, a lot of people wandering around like, should I be fighting this mushroom? What am I doing here? Um, by doing that, you've extended the median play time, which means more people will play it, which means it boosts you in the most played demo algorithm, because I think it's just looking at net most concurrent players. So yeah, I think that's how they did it. I mean, again, this looks a good game, super hot genre. Open world survival craft is a very hot genre. Oh, look at all that gassing it up over there is this the one that i started up here yeah this is gonna take me hours to knock out all these uh let's see what's going on in here what are you doing here what do we got what do we got what do we got let's just go here just run into this tree we got one of these let's see what this one says um happy birthday on your 40th hope you are still cool let's see what this is collect water no i guess i already did this one i guess i already did this one yeah, I think I did. Who needs platforms when I got these wings? Um, and just a nice deck that's gone into disrepair. Okay, and then somebody chained, uh, just locked up their uh, their wood. They're just like, we need to protect this wood. Um, yeah, that's it. That's a loft. I can get why the term why it's called a loft. Another axe. Ooh, is that a hoe? Yes, stone door kit. Okay, yeah, so I would just continue on. Now, a couple things we're gonna do. We're gonna check where the wish lists are. This is a very important thing. Um, I always check to see how often they tell you to wish list the game. So, pause menu, good, very good place to do it. Let's go to the main menu, save to quit to menu. Uh, loading screen to load the menu, doing that. We've got the main menu, A to continue right here wish list on steam right there and then we go quit to desktop just straight to my desktop uh typically i would advise that you also have a um wish list now like are you sure you want to quit um click wish list otherwise quit you know something like that that's typical so um all the major places they've got it and so that's what you should do that's a loft and uh, check out my class for more of these um uh, demo playthroughs.